All right, so I thought I'd just go ahead and give a quick update to uh, my friends out there that were curious to the situation. Um, there was a lovely lady and her daughter that stopped by, saw me out front uh, with my sign, help a veteran, and I was crying. Um, they, uh, they brought me back in the store and bought my medication for me. $40 worth. So I went ahead and took care of uh, what I needed to take care of. Here's the receipt. And uh, I got my feet medicated. I've taken my medication and uh, I'm feeling better already. I'm really super happy to know that there are still good people out there uh, willing to help someone in need. And uh, I've had a couple people stop by and ask me what service I was in. Um, one guy from Marine, the Marines gave me five bucks as he passed by. I uh, got a got a banana from a lady, and uh, uh, tears of joy at this moment from uh, just all the good fortune that I've had recently to uh, get my medical needs taken care of, and um, I'm real happy that uh, I met I met a couple of beautiful ladies that were willing to help me and and uh, get me going I give them my website information and my uh, Ustream information so they'll be checking it out uh, her husband it was a veteran is a veteran also and he was uh, denied or, or had a real significant difficulty getting his uh, benefits and they're still fighting it's been eight years is what she said uh, and they were at a really low point they didn't even get their last uh, paycheck from the government for uh, when he was um, discharged. There was a problem with the discharge papers for him and so it's taken eight years for them to get you know back online and they're still fighting to get all of their benefits. Uh, but anyway those are the people that helped me out and you know 40 bucks later I'm I'm in tears of joy instead of tears of sadness from uh, the assistance that I've had and I want to thank you guys for tuning in uh, I'll be trying to do as many broadcasts on updates that I have uh, regarding the situation of uh, the police the way they treat the homeless and I've got a lot of videos and photographs of uh, revenue collection by the police as, as it would be uh, there was uh, an incident the other day that this lady was pulled over at the car wash here in I'm currently in Tacono, Colorado. It's uh, about 20 miles outside of Boulder. And uh, they arrested her. They had her run several roadside sobriety walking tests, and then they finally arrested her. It seemed rather suspicious. It seemed like they were questioning her um, unreasonably. They did finally read her rights is what it looked like at the end of the questioning. And also they went through her vehicle and her cell phone is what it looked like. Uh, after they placed her under arrest and put her in the police car. Um, there were three police officers present, and like I said, I do have photographs of it. Um, this is my new uh, setup. This guy gave me a, a cart to go with my backpack, and uh, my, my gear is all stacked away in here. I've got everything I need. My new camera, a digital camera for recording, uh, filming the police and uh, whatnot. Um, there's been quite a few people that I've talked to that are doing gardening and are researching how to uh, find food naturally in the wild, such as uh, asparagus. You can find it along just about any waterway. Um, great stuff if you like it. And, uh, you know, I don't, I got a ton of things that I could talk about right now, but uh, I got to get moving. The sun's starting to get a little low, and I've got a three mile hike. Um, like I said, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. And if you can't, uh, if you can film it, uh, sorry, I'm tired. It's been a long day. If you see something, film it. <laughs> and if you know something, share it. Um, don't forget, uh, we're all in this together, and uh, it's a revolution of uh, peace and love. So, thanks for tuning in again. Don't forget to check out the website. Love you guys. Peace. Oh yeah, show the tattoo real quick. <laughs>